Hello everybody, welcome to Thursday of Racer Appreciation Day. I'm wait for a couple of you, get, you guys to get on so you can uh, hear about what we're doing. Right now we're in the warehouse. If you've never been to our warehouse, this is what it looks like. It's giant, there's a lot of stuff everywhere. Because we're uh, near our photo studio, which is where we're gonna be at today. So we're gonna go a little bit behind the scenes on the photo studio side um, because we have a lot of stuff in here so I didn't want it to seem like a, a professional tech video that we do. So anyway, we're here in our photo studio. This is Scott. Scott's one of our race techs. I'm sure a lot of you local guys know who Scott is so I won't uh, spend too long introducing him. But Scott is gonna go over, we have a bunch of new parts that um, are in our new race catalog and some that didn't make it into the race catalog that Scott wants to talk to you all about. So. Um, if you have any questions for Scott, leave them below. I have no problem interrupting Scott. He knows that you guys might have questions. So, um, yeah, I'll let Scott take it away. Cool. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of new products that are in your new race book. Hopefully, you've had it in your hands for a week or so already. Um, we'll mention some things that aren't new. Um, we'll mention some things that are new on the website that you haven't seen yet. So, like Bree said, uh, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, we'll stop and be happy to explain it. Yep. Uh, this is a helmet that we've added from GeForce. Um, it's inside on page number two of the catalog. Uh, you've probably seen some of the GeForce ones before. This is a Revo. Um, retail cost, what is it, $300. So a real nice helmet. Um, it does have the wicker on the back. It's got a little chin lip on the front. So nice helmet, uh, nice introductory price of $299. Um, one of the other things that it seems like we've struggled with for a long time and a lot of the racers can uh, attest to this, is getting the race saver to work with helmets. Uh, last year we added a race saver helmet kit um, where you would get this cool new holster for your race saver. But this year we took it a step further and we put in these nice speakers. Um, this kit really, it's $124. And if you think about it, the race saver is 99. But what this would allow you to do uh, you can place your race saver on your helmet um, and it's going to come with Velcro with this kit and then it allows you to put these speakers inside of the helmet. Um, so now your race saver will actually be self-contained uh, to your helmet so you won't have to worry about the cords or anything getting tangled up in your seatbelt. Um, Bree wants to zoom in on the yep. part number there, 910W16003. Um, if there's questions on part numbers, we try to have a, a little cheat sheet for all of them here. Uh, discount on that <laughs> race saver here in the next couple days. Um, that race saver kit would actually go really good uh, in one of these Zamp helmets. Uh, they do come with the ear cups already, so you could just in install the speakers right in there. With the air vents here, you could uh, attach it there as well. So uh, a couple different helmets there that we're just showing you. Um, one of the other things that's new, Impact has obviously changed their branding a little bit. Uh, we have these nice gloves uh, from Impact. We have the shoes, uh, the Axis shoes. You can see they got the white Impact logo on them now. Size is seven to 13 on those. Well, you uh, got space are rolling. <laughs> spacers are rolling. We're just rolling today, Brie, that's why. I guess so. We're just going for it. Um, another thing that's new, uh, kind of the safety aspect of things, we'll look down here. Yep. Um, New Simpson seat belts. Um, get the part number for Bree there. Yep. 630 okay. 290 631. These studio lights though. Oh here. There we, we go. go. <laughs> okay. Katie uh, said our picture is fuzzy. I hope it's fixed. We're kind of in a in the warehouse, so it's a little bit of a dead zone. So hopefully our picture is not um, super fuzzy. Anymore. They're putting us out in the dungeon. <laughs> so. Also, if you hear random like intercom announcements that's where it literally in the warehouse so that's why <laughs> so what's cool about these new simpson belts um big craze is everybody wants black well simpson's taking it one step further and they've put black hardware on this kit oh, that's cool um so that's something that's cool another thing while we have the belts here and this question comes up um you may have got me on the phones with uh race tech before but also in customer service when you receive your belts now, um, SFI tags have changed. They no longer have a manufacture date mm. um, as much as they have an expiration date. So these belts, you see June of 2020. Um, I know we've had some of the belts right now on the shelf that are December 2019. Uh, I still get two years out of the belt system, so uh, 
Uh, just a new way that SFI is, is going about that. The Simpson belts are in the new uh, SFI 39.2 late model seat. Um, the Lucas late model series and some of the other late model series that are local here are requiring an SFI rated seat. And you can see up here, Bruce wants yep. to zoom in, SFI tags, both on the headrest and then down on the seat as well. Yeah. A little bit pricier seat, uh, but I guess what's safety worth? Um, right. Got to think about that sometimes as well. The other seat that we've added, uh, this 55 series seat over here, it's going to replace the 41 series Kirky seat for the drag cars. And then uh, some of the pro touring guys notice how the rib supports are a little bit less here, so easier to get in and out of. Uh, one of the things that we definitely need to mention on this, uh, this seat here um, does not include a seat cover. It needs to be purchased separately. Okay. Uh, we have them separately. So the seat number, Bree wants to grab that, is yep. 910-55-160. And then we have the cover as a 910-55-160-11. Okay. So basically we put a 1-1 behind the number. Yep. Uh, the 160 indicates this one is a 16-inch. So that covers uh, some of the safety stuff that we brought out today. Yep. Um, anybody have questions on any of that stuff? Nope, no, no questions Yeah, I do want to say a big shout out to Charles for putting the seat together for us yeah. this morning because he, come, he came out of nowhere and put the seat together for us. come back here and want to know what's going on and I said, hey, can you help us with some stuff? Yeah. And we assembled that seat while you are in the warehouse. So. That's what happens. You just stumble upon stuff in here and then you get stuck putting seats together. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great that we have his help, um, stuff like that. It's always, it's always great. Gratefully appreciated. Yep, for sure. But like Scott said, if you guys have questions, leave them down below. Um, Katie, I hope that picture is fixed for you too. So, um, all right, what else? So we can start with uh, look over here okay. to a new kit. Um, as you guys watch us on Facebook, uh, always check out the website. Mm -hmm. If you go to our homepage and you scroll all the way to the bottom now, uh, we have what's called top picks, and a lot of these new kits that we're going to talk about are under the top picks. So. Most guys order a couple boxes of rivets and some backup washers. We put a little kit together to save you guys some money. Uh, this kit here is $39.99. Two boxes of rivets. You can get your choice of small head or large head. A uh, box of the backup washers. So you have 500 rivets, 500 washers. And then we put uh, a bag of six of these double-ended drill bits in there. Uh, really nice to have. Installing bodies this time of year. Maybe you throw them in the trailer for uh, repair kits. Yeah. The other thing, uh, Bree will run you across the room. Yep, here. that's fine. Don't step on the receiver. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you not step on that? Yeah, that's, that would be good. <laughs> uh, another thing we put together, um, just a little crash kit. Uh, we've all been to the racetrack and got uh, in that accident in the heat race or whatever and ripped the door apart or need something to, to patch stuff back together. So you get a box of the rivets, a bag of the zip ties, some duct tape. Everybody knows that's a racer's favorite piece there <laughs> and then we give you a 25 foot roll of plastic as well something just throw in your trailer so uh put your racer crash kit and your rivet kit together and you should have your trailer um ready to go it's one thing never forget about the trailer uh, it's right. always something that seems like last minute we need yep for sure um, speaking of the trailer something that uh, a lot of guys always struggle with i know at the racetrack you guys come around and they ask uh, about wheel spacers so uh, we have actually six different wheel spacers. Uh, we have five of them here. We're missing the quarter inch one. Uh, but what's cool is we put this together as a kit too. Uh, it's $64.99. You get all six wheel spacers, a quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, three quarter and one inch. Um, don't, don't be that guy that's running around asking your buddies for, for wheel spacers anymore. <laughs> and it's just really becoming a tuning thing. So that's something else uh, you guys could throw in the trailer. Speaking of safety stuff, everybody's probably heard all the new stuff about what we'll go down here, Bree. Oh, okay. Uh, all the new stuff about bolt-on tabs if you're with IMCA. Yep. Um, here's a Aero 52 series wheel. Um, Bree can kind of show you that there's three tabs on that one. They also offered in a four tab. Um, What's cool is we're actually going to have these on our shelves here in the Speedway, uh, honestly, probably in about a week. So uh, no longer have to worry about welding your own tabs on or welding your ring in. The wheel will come with the tabs on it already. That's awesome. Um, We've had a lot of questions about those. I know I've had guys yeah. asking me on Facebook. So One of the things that I will say is the tabs 
are not threaded. So when you order your wheel, make sure that you're ordering the right tab to go with it as far as the threaded nut tab. We offer them here in a 5 16 or a quarter inch. Um, so we can work with that. Brie, if you just stay there for a second. Yep, absolutely. So to go along with that. Whoa. We're breaking stuff. <laughs> that receiver is out to get you. We have a dominator kit. Um, it's going to come with the bolts. So here's a quarter inch bolt that comes with it. It's going to have the washers to retain it. Um, 12 different colors of the Dominator wheel covers. We have the neon colors of, and a really nice pink, uh, purple, green, blue. blue, yeah. They have a really nice chrome too. So we see Brie use that one a lot at the racetrack to do her hair, make sure she looks oh, good. Stop it. <laughs> so that one, it's a really nice shiny piece, but it's, it's a good one too. Along with the aero side, we'll zoom in on this wheel. Yep. Looks a little bit different for what we typically sell here at Speedway. This is actually a lightweight asphalt wheel um so if brie gets the picture yep, here absolutely 258 51 series um so the, the l is going to depict it's a lightweight series honestly this one we wouldn't want to use on any of the high speed high bank tracks um but we do have a right front wheel um and it's going to end in an r instead of an l uh reinforced a little bit stronger wheel right side wheel more than reinforced um Another thing here at Speedway that we've added to our shelf trying to help out with uh, the ease of getting things. Um, we factory ship with a lot of these vendors mm -hmm. and what we've run into with the racers is they needed it by the weekend. And so being able to do that is something that we really strive on. So uh, we'll get you guys taken care of with uh, the asphalt wheels. We have the new wheels with the tabs on them. Mm -hmm. Makes it a little bit easier to install your mud covers. Um, what else do we have body wise that we can talk about? Um, the giant nose in the back. We have the Dominator nose. Katie, no, I can't see comments. Um, the Dominator nose that we have here, uh, new for the stock cars, uh, hobby stocks. Um, we'll move these covers out of the way so you can see it a little bit better. It's got a little bit different uh, look to it compared to the uh, other Monte Carlo noses. You can see down there the grill's a little bit different shape. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer a grill package for it, and we offer headlight decals for that one as well. Um, right now, we're offering that one in six colors. Um, hopefully soon, we can add some more colors on that one. Um, what else? The Dominator rocker panels up there in the corner, Bree. Giant, huge. Uh, Eighty-eight ninety-nine for those. Uh, we have them listed in our book as each, but they actually are uh, a package of three that you get there. Oh, that's cool. So uh, you can talk about uh, three of them, two for the door, and then cut the third one up in, into a uh, half to cover your, your quarter panels. Uh, we have those in 11 different colors, so we can get the pink, uh, the neon green, the neon pink, the purple. Um, what other colors? Uh, fluorescent orange, fluorescent yellow, and then your standard. Uh, black, blue, red, white, those colors there. Sure. Um, oh, Brandon wants to know, are the wheel spacers available in four lug? Uh, no, only in five lug. Sorry about that. Uh, just a four lug. We don't honestly carry a spacer such as this um, in four lug, all five lug stuff. They're truthfully um, built for a five eight stud. So that's what's going to keep it centered. But they would fit uh, five on four and a half, five on four and three quarter and five on five bolt patterns. Uh, we also have wheel spacers that are black anodized. We don't have those put together in a kit yet, uh, but if a guy wants a black piece, we can do that for you too. Um, sure. We'll cover the suits over here, I guess, Bree. Yeah, absolutely. I think Katie's sending me some comments here. I don't know yeah. why I can't see them today. That's so strange. So if you have if you have questions, definitely still leave them below and I'll make Scott answer them later after the fact if we don't get Maybe them. Maybe if we so. go outside after this, we can get it. Yeah, maybe. Um, so a couple different suits. Um, Let's start with this Zamp suit. Yep. Um, you can see the ZR30 part number. It is an mm -hmm. SFI suit, SFI 5, so considered a two layer suit. Um, if you look here, it's got the nice stretchy panels for the arms. Mm -hmm. uh, this suit here, uh, $200. Uh, 199 I think, is how we have them in the book. It does have the boot cuff on it as well. Right now, only available with the black and then the white chest. For the price, it's definitely uh, something that's going to get you in a nicer suit. 
Uh, this time of year, we always get questions on the race tech side, SFI 1 versus SFI 5. Sure. Let's put it simple. SFI 1, you have three seconds of protection. SFI 5, you have 10 seconds of protection. This suit at two, $200 versus an SFI 1 suit at $150. I don't know too many hospitals that you can visit for 50 bucks and spend a couple days in the burn unit. So right, a little exactly. bit of extra protection here. Uh, definitely a good piece. Katie sent another question about the uh, seat and the... Um Seat belts, no, they are not a bundle. Um, we just stuck them on the seat so you guys could see them fake installed, basically. So um, here is the different part numbers for the belt combo and the seat. So that way you can look up both of those. There's that question. Thanks, Katie, for sending me all of those. I appreciate it. Uh, G4 suits, uh, we found these landed online. Uh, they didn't make the catalog. So this is one that uh, as you go back through and you're looking for a suit, uh, it's a really nice style for sure. Mm -hmm. um, G-Force, it's they call it their uh, 745 suit, SFI5 suit. Really nice, lightweight suit. Again, it has the boot cuff. It has the release in the arms. Again, um, this one actually has, and I'll take this off and turn it around for you, Bree. That was really hard to put on there. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> it was really hard to put on. And... Yeah, it's hard to dress up a mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> this one actually has a really nice stretchy back panel too. So uh, another nice suit. We'll turn it back around so Brie can get the part yep, number. Absolutely. That one comes in uh, blue and black. This gray in any of those colors will always be gray and then the chest panel and then the legs will always be the, the red, blue, or black. Cool. Um, another suit that we've worked on um, getting it in here is this Bell Formula suit. Uh, it's another nice suit. Again, uh, this one's about a $500 suit. Has the nice stretchy arm panels. Boot cuff down at the bottom. Uh, just a real simple style with the, the little pinstripe there in the black and gray. Only available as you see pictured there. Mm -hmm. And then um, going over to the Nomex underwear. This is the new Simpson memory foam fire retardant underwear. We have it in tops and bottoms, black and white, um, on the shelf ready to go. So if you can't think about what to buy your, your honey for Valentine's Day, you can buy him some new racing underwear. Get him underwear. Yeah. Do you know the sizes on the Zamp helmet? Sam wanted to know what the biggest size was on that. On the Zamp helmet? Or Sorry, on the suit. On the suit? <laughs> I'm looking at it and said helmet. Jeez. <laughs> on the suit right now, it goes to 3X. 3X, okay. Um, but uh, hopefully soon we can get the sizes increased on that. Yeah. Um, right now, I think we have it on the shelf as a one piece, soon to be one and two piece. Okay. Um, also, they have a new Zamp suit that's a single layer, one one and two piece deal there for like a hundred bucks. Hundred and seven, I think, is actually what it is. Cool. Um, what else do we have? We have the new MD3 roof caps. So if you're buying your MD3 rockers and valences, we have the roof caps to match the colors now. Um, nine ten. Forty-two. Where's that one with the sticker? It's in the back. We took it out. We'll have to get that part number. So we failed at that on Berea. <laughs> we had a heck of a time setting all this stuff up earlier. It's okay. It's okay. It looks really good though. So that'll that'll finish off your uh, your roof there, the MB3 roof caps. Um, I think it's a nine ten thirty one forty two. Honestly, is the yeah. part number. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna scooch this um, over. There we go. Let's see here. We can talk about the steering wheels. Yeah, absolutely. Um, We've added a, a full line of Max Pappas MPI uh, steering wheels. These are just two of them. A um, little 10 inch steering wheel for the go-kart world or um, you know truck pull, tractor pull stuff. Real nice lightweight steering wheel here. Um, one of the things that does come with this nice little nose pad. Mm -hmm. You can see the three bolt pattern it's going to work with there. Yep. Um, we have the 2.2 inch offset steering wheel. This is a, a nice heavy duty wheel. Um, has the nubs on the back for those guys that want that. It does have a, a poly grip on it, so should be a nice non-slip grip there for those guys. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've also added some of the long anchor steering wheels. Um, I would you guys assume have, so, yeah. You guys mm -hmm. may have seen some of those earlier um, this week. I think they were um, creating some of those. Yeah. Um, let's see here. We can talk about, uh, let's talk about the IMCA spoiler here. Okay. Uh, new IMCA spoiler. Um, this one's online for the sport mode guys. Um, the rule is a, a one piece spoiler. This one here is uh, 063 aluminum. 
So it's a little bit stronger than your 40 thousandths aluminum that you would build your body with. Uh, right at the $100 mark for this spoiler here. Just comes in the plain finish right now. Um, we make sure we get the part number posted on that one. Yep. Um, let's see here. Let's talk about this piece here for a second. Yeah. Uh, one of the problems that persists a lot, the Rochester 2G guys, um, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on on the, on the web and Facebook and stuff right now, trying to get the carburetors to seal a little bit better. Something we were on last year, uh, we were trying to come up with a gasket to make it work. Uh, we've come up with this $6.99 gasket here. Uh, obviously it goes down on your carburetor and then it'll fit to your uh, bases that you have, whether it be the, the uh, speedway that goes to a two and an eighth inch neck or we have the, the big five into a two neck that reduces it down. But this is a nice thick gasket if you can see that. Yeah. Um, $6.99 maybe worth a shot to try to get the dirt out of your uh, Rochester 2G's whether it be a derby guy or a hobby stock guy uh, we can try to help you with that um, we can go to the quick change stuff we'll stay right down here yeah absolutely so we've always offered the winners gears and we've offered uh, the B&J quick change gears mm -hmm. we've recently added the PEM gears these retail for $139.99. You can see they're a little bit shinier than most. Mm -hmm. um, it does have the REM polishing on it. Holes are drilled a little bit lighter weight. It's about a pound and a half lighter. Um, great for you guys running crates and, and looking for a little bit less drag. Uh, a little bit lighter weight gear, $139. Uh, a little bit cheaper than some of the other ones that are out there, but it's a, it's a nice piece, quality piece. Um, what else? The two and seven eighths hubs. Yep. Are you bring that up here? We'll just bring it over here. Okay. So we've offered our winner's quick change with a two and seven eighths hub for about two years now. Um, we failed a lot of you guys and I apologize. Uh, we haven't had crash parts for you. Uh, we have now a complete hub setup that'll come with the bearings, the dry flange, um, all your seals, obviously dust caps, bolts, everything needed there. Uh, we have all those parts available individually as well. That's awesome. And the other thing that we've added in is a tube with the two and seven eighths snout on it. Um, so that's something that uh, some of you guys may be looking for that that we failed you on before. And I apologize. Like I said, uh, we want to we want to cover you guys as best we can. Mm -hmm. um, you want to talk about the expansion tank behind you? Yeah. It's little Joe's expansion, expansion tank. It's a nice piece here. Um, here you go. Yep. 457 mm -hmm. It's going to take a standard radiator cap. Uh, this piece here. Here we go. Uh, it's going to have half inch pipe there. And then we have a air bleed and a return, a little bleed here as well, so that we can get you taken care of. This will be your overflow and this will be your your bleed. Uh, so this one's quarter pipe, this one's half pipe, and then this one's eighth pipe. Uh, nice little piece from Joe's. Um, it's, it's really kind of a, probably an asphalt deal. We have some stock car guys that would run that um, just for your really hot days and don't want to lose all the fluid. Sure. Um, it's everything that I have pulled in here, guys. Yeah. Um, we'll mention quick. Uh, with the dominator noses we also have the dominator tails uh, as well um, so the tail panel and it's going to be imca legal the tail pieces that we have here um, something else talking on body stuff that you guys may have seen in the catalog 2018 version of the md3 uh, front valence versus 2017 version what's different uh, 2018 is going to be a thicker plastic so hopefully you guys don't tear them off as fast uh, well, wait, we shouldn't say that. We want you to turn the plastic <laughs> in some order. MD3 is thickened up the plastic, so hopefully they can uh, keep that on the race car a little bit better. Um, 
Do you have any other questions? That no, I can't see them, unfortunately. So I apologize that I haven't been saying hi to everybody. So hello to everyone who has commented. Do you want to try to go out there and see No, it it'll be oh, okay because okay. we got a we got a mess out there today. So okay. um, I'll make sure um, I reply to all of your comments below as soon as I get back um, to my desk after we do this. And then if you guys have any questions, absolutely leave them below. I will bug the crap out of Scott and make sure that we get all of those questions answered. I'm so sorry that I missed your comments. Like I said, we're kind of in a death trap of cell signal here. So, um, I apologize that I haven't been able to see him, but, um, yeah, that'll be, that'll do it for day four racer appreciation week. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to be at my race pass talking about, uh, their new app and all of the awesome things that they can do for you next season or this season, I suppose. So the race, the race app is awesome. Um, did it a little bit last year at the racetracks. Yeah. Live scoring and monitoring and that kind of stuff was yep. really nice to yep. have. So. They just did it all at Tulsa and Chili Bowl, so and it worked out flawlessly. So we're gonna hear from them. So yeah, like I said, questions leave them below. Other than that, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good afternoon, everyone.